Hello YouTube. Today I will discuss what is power factor. This is one of the very basic questions asked in an electrical engineering and in an, most of the interviews. And most of the students you will see they will give you the answer that it is the angle between the voltage and the current which is true. But in an interview they are expecting more than this. So here I am taking an example let's say you have an incandescent bulb which is a purely resistive load because it is just made up of a tungsten filament and uh, here you will have a power factor of 1 in these examples I am considering that the power utility is providing you 230 volts at 50 hertz no matter what load you connect they will keep the voltage in the frequency same in second case let's say the power factor was reduced to 0 0.5 because you have connected some inductive load in parallel of this the voltage is same so the power consumed by this tungsten filament will be the same and there will be no real power that will be consumed by the inductive load so again you are consuming 100 watts again if you have connected so many inductive loads in parallel with this tungsten filament that is the bulb and have reduced the power factor by 0 0.1 again the voltage is same and the power consumed the real power consumed will be equal to 100 watts so let's say you have switched on the bulb for 10 hours 100 watt into 10 hours that gives you 1 kilowatt hour which is equal to 1 unit and let's say 1 unit in your case in your country or in your state is rupees 10 so do you think all these customers have to pay rupees 10 no we know that that these two customers have to pay more as compared to this customer so what is happening although they are consuming the same real power what is the extra facility that is being provided to these customers because of which they are being charged more as compared to this customer so something is happening now now this time I'm con uh, considering two big consumers and the power utility is providing you uh, providing 10 kilovolts in both these cases okay <clears throat> so let's say they both are consuming 10 megawatt each and the power factor in these cases is it is 1 and it is 0 0.1 let's say let's calculate the total power in this case SL the total power is equal to P upon cos phi which is equal to 100 MVA that is this will consume 100 MVA this consumer 100 MVA divided by 10 kilovolt equal to 10 kiloamp that means the power utility has to provide 10 kiloamp to this consumer let's say there was a drop of 1 kilovolt and they were generating 11 kilovolt at the sending end because of 1 kilovolt drop the power received was 10 kilovolt let's talk about the second consumer Again, he is consuming 10 megawatt at cos phi equal to 1, that is power factor equal to 1. Again, the power utility was providing 10 kilovolt to this customer. But in this case, the power he is consuming, that is the total power equal to P upon cos phi equal to 10 mega MVA. He is consuming 10 MVA. He was consuming 100 MVA. That means if we calculate the current, this divided by the voltage, that was same in both cases, 10 kVA. 10 kV will give you 1 kilo ampere current let's say the drop was 0 0.6 kV and the power utility was generating 10.6 kV and because of the drop you received only 10 kV which was same in both the cases and here the current is 1 kilo ampere in that case it was 10 kilo ampere the power that was generated But the utility here is 10.6 MVA, that is 1 kilo ampere into 10.6 kilovolts. The power utility here is generating 10.6 MVA, here they were generating 110 MVA. So what has happened? There are two, three factors that you have to consider. The first is the current, amount of current has increased considerably from 10 kilo ampere from 1 kilo ampere to 10 kilo ampere if the power factor you use is 
second is the amount of power the power utility has to generate here it is 110 MVA and here it is just 10.6 MVA the voltage drop here has increased here it is 1 kilovolt as compared to 0 0.6 kilovolt so what has basically happened as power factor improves the amount of current decreases if amount of current decreases the size of conductor required in transmission line also decreases because to pass a huge amount of current you need a thicker conductor so that is the extra facility or the extra privilege that is was being provided to these two customers as we have already discussed because they must be consuming a higher amount of current they must be drawing higher amount of current from the power utility okay as the current increases the i squared r losses also increases or if the power factor improves the i squared r losses decreases and the efficiency improves that is again they have to generate less power generating voltage also decreases which means the voltage regulation improves here if you see they have to generate 11 kV and here they have to generate 10.6 kV to provide the customers 10 kV at every time so the voltage regulation uh, so the voltage regulation improves and they have to generate less voltage the size of the generator that is the MV rating also decrease more is the MV rating more is the physical size of the generator here they have to generate 110 MVA now they have to generate only 10.6 MVA so that means they need a bigger generator to give power to this customer and finally the weight of insulator the mechanical towers should be strong because as the voltage uh, sorry the power factor is worse uh, if the power factor is not good the current is more thicker are the wires so the insulator should be strong the tar should be strong to carry the weight of that thick wires that is why this customer will be charged more as compared to this customer so the cost equation will depend upon two factors one is the fixed cost and second is the running cost running cost depends upon the your the watts that you are consuming and the fixed cost depends on the kva the volt amperes that you are consuming and this cost will depend upon the power factor so if you have a good power factor you will be charged less and if you have a bad power factor you will be charged more so this is the physical significance of power factor normally in an interview you can say that as the power factor decreases the amount of current increases and then you can list all these factors and then you can say your regular answer that is it is the angle between the voltage and the current and i think you will be you'll get selected in the, in that interview Thank you. I'm hoping this is making sense. I'm making more videos. Subscribe if you like my videos. Like it. And ask me if any, you have any questions. I'll try to answer them. Thank you very much.